At 6.04 now, this morning a woman is in court for allegedly murdering three people over a weave. WMC Action News 5's Jerrica Phillips joins us live with that story. Jerrica. Good morning, Kim. This story is actually making national headlines. I was actually just reading one of the major blogs, and people are in disbelief uh, about the alleged motive behind these murders, and that's hair. As you mentioned, weave, uh, extensions, whatever you want to call it, they are saying bundles of hair are behind these murders, and Shelly Isaac is facing a judge today on some serious counts, three counts of first-degree murder. E.J. Tate and his girlfriend, Edwina Thomas, and their un born child were killed last month, according to family and friends, over Brazilian hair. Victoria C.A. was arrested and charged with accessory after the fact. Police said she acted as a getaway driver after the murders. Now, Tate and his cousin run a business called VirginHairForUs.com. Family and friends feel Isaac and C.A. knew Tate and may have bought hair from him before. We spoke to Tate's father, who believes it was an attempted robbery that went wrong. They didn't have to do this. If they wanted the hair, I'm pretty sure, you know, he would say, hey, you can have this hair. You know, my life is not worth it. Just a bizarre story. The hair that Tate sold was valued up to $250 per bundle. Witnesses told investigators they saw Isaac go through Tate's pockets after she saw or after she shot him. Now, what makes it even harder to believe that this couple was murdered over hair is that both of these girls, Isaac and her accomplice, are just 18 years old. Isaac will face a judge today. Of course, we'll let you know what happens in court. Reporting live, Jerrica Phillips, WMC Action News 5.